Salutations, friends. It's your pal, Sid Stevie, and today I got a pretty interesting knife to show to you folks. Um, also, I guess uh, you just heard, uh, my neighbor decided to start mowing his lawn, so we have that noise in the background to contend with. So, that is what it is. Hopefully it's not too distracting. But, uh, any hoodles, uh, back to uh, this bad boy here. Uh, this is a pass-around knife that was provided by the CDC. Uh, the Crispy Donut Community. Uh, you might know them uh, from their uh, Facebook group. Uh, started a couple years ago by a couple of dudes, uh, Luke and Drew, who are in uh, law enforcement and uh, corrections. Uh, they just started out doing patches, uh, kind of a, you know, riff on the whole donut and cop uh, uh, deal. Uh, and so that's what all their stuff is themed around, uh, is donuts and uh, cops and law enforcement and whatnot. But uh, they started uh, venturing further into the EDC community and they started designing uh, some knives. Uh, I got in on their Hansen pre-order, which I believe is actually shipping and on its way right now. Uh, I got in on that after they had stopped by one of the live streams uh, that we were doing. I don't remember if it was a late night with said faction or a said Stevie or a Mattis faction alive but uh they seem like cool dudes and yeah i got in on that pre-order it was like a 60 dollar uh liner lock um hopefully we'll have that uh, in hand soon but this is their second uh offering uh this is the salem uh this pre-order is going to be starting on june 2nd i believe and it is limited to i think uh, like 75 knives uh, so we'll get in on that information uh, in just a moment, but uh, here it is. Uh, let's give it a flip and uh, check it out. So you are looking at a, uh, I guess this is kind of a dagger style uh, blade, a stoned washed S35 VN uh, with a blade length of 3.24. Uh, that's a cutting edge of just three inch. Uh, you see that it does have, I think, a little slight hollow grind to it and uh, a bit of a uh, swedge there going on. Kind of, sort of a compound grind there, if my camera will focus. There we go. Uh, not too shabby uh, looking of a blade. Um, you have a handle length of 4.13 inch, and this is G10. Uh, you see the pink uh, G10 with the blue overlay uh, to show off the sprinkles. Again, everything that they got going on is uh, donut themed. Uh, you see a titanium uh, lanyard uh, uh, slash backspacer there. A non-reversible uh, pocket clip. A uh, pocket clip is a little stiff, um, but uh, it has gone in and out of pocket uh, okay. Um, it is a little stiff though, I gotta say. Uh, the screws are all T8. And uh, you do see there, uh, uh, you, you have a captive uh, pivot. Uh, the blade steel marking is on the uh, blade there. Uh, titanium frame lock on this, writing on ceramic uh, caged uh, bearings. Uh, very smooth uh, closing action. It has uh, come completely centered. Uh, it is a... Th flipper tab and thumb stud for deployments the flipper is uh got a very snappy detent on it i think that the detent is dialed good for the uh, flipper uh, you can middle finger flick this uh from the stud and again very snappy a little stiff uh and then the thumb stud itself for me is a little hard to deploy uh, you really got to get up underneath it and uh fire it out you can see it's uh, it does dig into my thumb here. Um, uh, if you come up, uh, you know, and get kind of a, a different grip on it, uh, it's fine. But just a traditional fire out, uh, it, it is a little stiff. Uh, I think that the thumb stud placement uh, could be changed a little bit, but I don't believe that uh, that's going to change any. Uh, the notes that I have here say that the only change is going to be uh, enlarging the CDC logo and moving it closer to the jimping. So I guess it's going to go uh, up a little bit there. Uh, ergos are pretty good. 
Um, uh, I get a, a you know a full four on it, uh, no problem. Uh, the jumping is good to go on this. Um, you know, I, I got no problem uh, getting it, this into hand. Little bit of a hot spot on the uh, pocket clip, but not too bad. Uh, and then you got some really far up jumping that's uh, it's pretty sharp up here. Um, the way that this is, uh, it's a false edge. Uh, looks like it's uh, ground down, but it is a false edge. But that jimping is a little, uh, you know, wants to start uh, poking into my fingers a little bit. But overall, uh, this is not uh, too shabby of a knife. Uh, the pre-order, uh, let's see here. I have the uh, info pulled up here on their website. Uh, the CDC Salem. Uh, please read the entire description. So... Uh, this is going to be $130, and the pre-order will be open from June 2nd to June 4th and limited to just 75 spots. Uh, looks like it's going to be a $10 off the retail price. Um, and, yeah, you'll get it a month before the general public. Uh, images shown are the prototype, so I guess that's this. Uh, this pre-order will close when we have reached 75 knives or June 4th, whichever comes first. Once the order closes, it will take approximately two to four months for the knives to begin shipping to you, so please be patient. I will link this so you can uh, read up on all the information uh, if you want to get in on the pre-order. Uh, if I did not mention, the uh, OEM on this is Kube. And uh, I think, you know, fit and finish is pretty good to go. Uh, 130 bucks uh, for a titanium uh, frame lock S35VN. You know, uh, I think it's priced appropriately. Uh, it's not too shabby. Um, I do think that this knife would be uh, a lot better as a lighter lock. I think having this uh, with... Uh, the scales on both sides and having it a liner lock, you know, keep that titanium uh, clip on there. Keep everything else the same. Um, I think that this knife could have uh, really benefited from being a, uh, a liner lock. However, uh, I mean, if you're into the whole uh, donut theme, I think that you would uh, definitely like this knife. Uh, it is fairly fidgety. I gotta say, um, you know... Like I said, you got to overcome that uh, detent there. But once you get used to the knife, um, you got to overcome the detent on the uh, thumb stud. Like I said, it does get a little stiff uh, right there. But again, if I just have my uh, finger up over and come up underneath, I got no problem with that. Middle finger flick it, uh, no problem. And then the back flipper uh, is good to go. Uh, the pass around knife came with a shit ton of CDC swag. So, uh, I'm going to have some of that uh, to give away. I'm not going to bother breaking that out and show everything. But the Hansen is something uh, that I will be including in my uh, their, their liner lock that they have coming. Uh, that's going to be included in my uh, 3,000 uh, subscriber giveaway if I ever hit uh, 3,000 subs. I have a whole donut theme uh, giveaway uh, that I'm putting together. I got a donut Hank. I got a donut, a couple of different, uh, you know, uh, donut themed uh, coins and knives. And it's going to be pretty cool. And I'll show that off uh, here uh, not too long. But again, uh, 130 bucks pre-order opens up on the second, runs through the fourth. So that's, you know, kind of during uh, Blade Show, uh, which they will be at Blade Show as well. But uh, yeah, pretty cool uh, group of dudes. Uh, all sorts of donut themed stuff on their website. If you haven't checked it out, everything will be linked in the description. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, you dig it or what? Uh, but that's all I got for you folks today. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you haven't done so, uh, you can subscribe right there. And then whatever that video is, you can check that out. And until the next one, I bid you mofos. Adieu,